Greetings, folks, and today I've got a rather silly idea. I'm gonna register my copy of WinRAR. Yes, WinRAR. The file compression and decompression utility that's arguably most famous for being the program that no one ever registers. It's been around since the mid-90s in various forms, and for years, I'd say probably till around 2003 or 4, it was my go-to file archiving program, simply because it handled the most compression formats and it was free to use. <laughs> Effectively, anyway. Because WinRAR's whole thing was that it started you off with a 40-day free trial that after that was over you were expected to pay for it. The thing is, once the 40 days passed, it still let you use it. Forever. All you had to do was wait for the nag screen to let you through and that was that. So it earned this reputation as the paid program that no one ever paid for, even more so than competitors like WinZip, which was more restrictive after its trial period ended. As a result, WinRAR's infinite 40-day trial has been continuously discussed in various articles, forums, subreddits, and YouTube videos over the years, with folks wondering how RAR Lab could possibly profit as a business from such a weird sales strategy, or lack of sales, I guess. Now, the short answer is enterprise users are still expected to pay for it, so a majority of RAR Lab's cash flow comes from large group licenses. The other reason that they did it this way is as a kind of anti-piracy measure, where the idea is, hey, why would anyone bother to pirate the full version when the trial version of WinRAR remains usable forever, with only a nag screen getting in the way? I think perhaps they underestimate the sheer pettiness and free time of software pirates, yeah, but that's beside the point, because the fact remains that practically no home user of WinRAR ever had much reason to pony up the cash and register the program, including myself, until today, doing it for the clicks. So yeah, my goal with this video is pretty simple. I just want to register a copy of WinRAR and see what that's like <laughs> after 25 or however many years of using it off and on. And we're also going to try it out on some different older operating systems as well because it's LGR and that's what I do. I'm curious if the current registration information, whatever that is, still applies to old versions of WinRAR. So I guess we will see. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. See what happens with some WinRAR registration. RAR. It's a weird word. Alrighty, about to register WinRAR like a madman. So let's see. We do have a couple of different links here for WinRAR. And that would be the WinRAR.com website and then RARLab.com, which was what I remember from back in the day. I think uh, this other one here is just the publisher, Win.RAR GmbH. Whereas RAR Lab, this is like the official website, and it's been like this pretty much as long as I can remember. Both of them eventually go through the same checkout thing, Clever Bridge. So, uh, screw that, we're gonna go with the OG website, because it makes me happy, and look how simple it still is. <laughs> 2002 to 2021, so yeah, I guess this one's been here since 2002. I guess there was actually a new version of it in December of 2020, that's the latest one? Yeah, I honestly haven't used WinRAR in so many years, you know, as my normal archiver. I've been using 7-Zip since like the mid-2000s, so I'm kind of curious what the new one even is like. But yeah, buy WinRAR Archiver. So check this out. We can go with uh, one user or multi-user licenses. <laughs> Get a thousand copies of WinRAR. No, we're just gonna go with the, uh, the regular one here. And here we go, online storefront. Same as the other one, pretty much. We're going through the same Clever Bridge company. And it's $29 for the standard electronic delivery version. Again, the same as it's been since forever, as far as I can remember. And also a physical delivery on CD option. I mean, I've got to do that. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be some garbage CDR with a horrible label, but who knows? We'll see. Alrighty, just going to go ahead and enter in my crap. We'll skip ahead here because, you know. By now. Ooh, no going back. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Download and install your WinRAR key. Got some troubleshooting and I got a physical delivery on the way. Yeah, I will do a follow-up video about that on my LGR Blurbs channel. We'll see what that is. But for now, let's download and install it. Such uncharted territory. Look at this, how to register. So pretty simple. You get a key to download, it's a key file. 
not a serial or anything. So that does make me wonder if it will work with any older ones. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I've never registered this. So, uh, cool. Guess we'll download it. Oh no, can't open the page. Huh. Okay. So Chrome works, but Safari doesn't. Or whatever, that's what I get for trying to capture with a Mac, I guess. All right, let's move over to a Windows PC and install WinRAR with my brand new $30 registration key that I bought so you don't have to. Okay, I got the RAR key dot RAR, 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 and we can open it up in 7-zip, ironically. So we've got a key file and a readme. Let's see here. Thanks for registering WinRAR. You're welcome. Better late than never. Eh, uh, you know. So I do have WinRAR 6 installed and I have skipped ahead the time past the 40 days. So this is what you get when the trial runs out. Then we can just click off and you can still use it without registering. You just get that nag screen at the beginning and that's it. So we'll do that. Open with this, which I just installed. And yeah, there we go. It's been successfully registered. So yeah, look at that. Registered to me. Mmm, how exciting. Single PC usage license. Fancy. Well, now to see if this functions with older versions as well. So I'm gonna go back to, I don't know, Windows XP, and then we're gonna try like Windows 95 and 3.1. I don't know, just we'll keep going until it doesn't work. It might not work on anything older than this. Well, I don't know. We'll see in a sec. Let's go ahead and find out. Okay, got Windows XP going here and some things on a USB drive. So we're gonna start with WinRAR 4.0, a couple versions back from, well, I guess 2011. Okay, it's a little newer than I thought, but uh, we'll try it. All right, there's that. Please purchase WinRAR. Note that it is not free. After 40 day trial, you must either buy a license or remove it from your computer or not. Let's see if we can register it using the same key file. Ah. Hey, so that still works. All right. So this one is registered to me as well. 4.0. Uh, let's go back to 3.0 and see if that works. All right, moving on down to Windows 98 second edition. Let's see what we can do here. Hey, floppy disks. Ah, look at that classic logo. Crazy this was still 2002. Seems older than that somehow. And here we go. Uh-huh. 40 day trial period ended with the time set forward on the computer clock. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, all right. So it still works on the 2002 version, WinRAR 3.0, registered to me once again with a 2021 key. Let's go back to 2.0. Oh yeah, Windows 95. Let's see what we can do with WinRAR 2. Mmm, getting older. WinRAR is a 32-bit Windows version of RAR. <laughs> So we've gone 32-bit from 16-bit Windows 3.1. We got different interface options. Looks like we can go with both 3.1 interface and 95. Okay, different libraries, program groups, all the typical stuff in terms of associations. Okay, let's open up 95 version here. Hmm, not seeing any nag screen and I have moved the time forward past the evaluation period. Ooh, now this is different. You got a straight up registration code and some other stuff. So this might be the limit. Here's the 3.1 style interface right here. This one doesn't have a nag screen either. It doesn't seem. Yeah, there's no mention of the 40 day thing. I mean, it's totally described in the license section of the help file. Anyone may use a software during a test period of 40 days. Following this, you must register, but doesn't seem like it's gonna bother you if you don't. Wow, that's even more generous. Just curious though, I mean, we gotta try and see if somehow it recognizes that key file, but I have my doubts at this point. It is opening it. Well, nope. It sees that the files are there, but that's it. So it, it technically doesn't even open this RAR file. So something definitely changed quite a bit between 2.0 
and 3.0 in terms of the way it reads RAR files, I guess? And also by the way that uh, registration is taken care of. Interesting. I didn't know that. I've actually never used a version of it that old. All right, just out of curiosity, I'm going to look in that key file, see if maybe there's a registration code in there, and then just type in my name. I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, definitely not. It's this gigantic string of numbers and letters that goes well beyond this field of the registration code area. So that totally doesn't work. There is definitely a hard cutoff. That being said, I'm willing to bet it's pretty easy to find one of these old serials online still. Let me just look one up. I'm just curious. Yep, one came up pretty easily. So let's just see here. <laughs> well, that answers that. So yeah, it's just a straight up name and serial number. Yeah, it's now registered. <laughs> Not that there was really anything in the way of anything at all. Like I said, there was no nag screen on this version. <laughs> totally registered the 16-bit version as well. Look at that. So ancient serial number from some ancient website still totally works. I'm assuming that's why they changed it between going from 16-bit versions over to 32-bit. 3.0 and onward are gonna rely on that key file and it still totally works and is valid from the current way of registering WinRAR on the modern website. So, uh, you know, I don't know what we learned here, but we learned something. <laughs> Probably not useful, but whatever. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this kind of silliness. I just like messing around with things like this every so often. And I was kind of hoping that uh, we'd get a Windows 3.1 version working with the modern key as well. But hey, I'm kind of surprised it went back as far as it did, period. So anyway, it's back to working on the other videos that I had going and uh, didn't quite get finished. Yeah, that's kind of why I did this is uh, I didn't have enough time to complete the project that I was working on for today. So we got this instead. I hope that you enjoyed it regardless and stick around for other LGR things each week here on this very channel. And as always, thank you very much for raring.